YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another YouTube video. And in this video today, I'm going to just talk about my situation with the Infinity and what is going to happen next. So in the last video you guys seen, I don't know if I'm going to make it all in the same video or if I'm going to um, make it two separate videos. But I mean, I did the intro anyway, so we'll, we'll just see how it goes. It might be two separate ones. But in the last video, you guys seen that my car was wrecked. It was in an accident. I was in an accident. And the front passenger side is in complete disarray. It needs to be fixed and it's gonna cost thousands. I went to the mechanic shop and the guy's like, oh, we can't work on this. I'm like, why not? He said, dude, it's gonna be a total loss. Like this is gonna cost thousands. I'm like, so you can't just put on the axle and the strut. He's like, cause I'm like, why are you talking about thousands? Why are you trying to go so far ahead? Like, let's start with what I brought to the shop, which is the axle and the strut. And he's like, oh, I could put it on, but it'll never drive the same again. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? So he's like, oh, there's damage here, damage here. It's bent here. Ah, da, 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 da. And I'm like, is that just mechanic talk? Like, is he just trying to like, you know, run in my pockets with all this other shit? And I'm looking at it too, and I'm like, there might be some shit bent up in there. So he might be onto something. And some of that shit um, that he mentioned, I did already know was messed up. So I'm like, okay, what what should I do? He's like, you'll be a fool to not go through insurance. And I said, okay. He said, you have a video of it? D dash cam footage? I said, I don't have dash cam, but I do have a video. He said, you're a fool. Why are you coming to try to pay for this? So. Long story short, uh, I'm gonna go through the insurance and I already filed claims and all that stuff against against the, the driver of the other car because he was totally at fault. You cannot cut in front of me. If, if you're turning left, you're supposed to yield for the cars coming down, right? Going straight, if you wanna make that left. He didn't wait. So you know some people, we've all probably done this me not so much but if i'm if i have a left turn and i look at traffic and it looks like they're going slow i know you guys whip that left and you try to go whether it's an intersection or it's a one way you try to gauge the speed of the driver in front and see how fast they're going and you think you can make the turn so he thought he could make the turn but he didn't have nowhere near no space and he cuts me off he literally like almost goes like head on towards me like he must have been disoriented or like drunk or some something was going on because it didn't even make sense and i had no time to react but just to swerve out of the way or else i would have hit him head on it would have been a head-on collision like i can't make this shit up y'all this is literally what happened so you know we're, we're going through the insurance because somebody has to pay for that it's not gonna be me because I'm not at fault. I was gonna start paying for the damages, but I'm not going to do that because I am not at fault. Like I'm just driving straight down the road. If I was swerving, if I was doing this, doing that, doing all this extra shit, then I can understand, but I'm not at fault. So I'm not gonna pay. So that's gonna get figured out with the insurance. They're gonna have to figure out, you know, they're, they're gonna do their investigation. I'll put it like that and they'll figure out uh, what's what's going on but from what the mechanic is telling me he's saying that the car is a total loss and that that's that's what's killing me because that car is my baby this whole channel is derived around that uh, is derived around that infinity so it's just it's real unfortunate man it's, it's real unfortunate so i don't know what to do you know, it's gonna take a couple days until they figure out who's at fault and then they figure out if the car's a total loss or it should be fixed. Of course, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on everything, but that's where we're at, where I don't have a car right now. I, the Infinity is, for, for right now, it's at the mechanic shop, just collecting dust, waiting for its fate. 
none, none much I could do, you know. It's real unfortunate. So, what I can say to you guys is, if you guys are out there driving, be safe, be careful, because there's a lot of idiot drivers, and you don't want to be in a situation that I'm in, where you have a great car, you you had a you know a business the a brand that you were trying to build, and just like that, it might be all gone. This YouTube channel, I don't even know what I'll do with it next. Once they say that I can't get the infinity back, I don't know. So just be very careful. That's all I can say when you're out there driving because people are idiots. Um, and yeah, man. all I can say so that is that'll wrap up this video that'll wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed it and my TED talk uh, stay tuned for more updates and for the you know the, the end result the conclusion you know hopefully it's good news at the end of the road but I don't know so with that being said, thank you guys again for watching the video and I will see you next time. Peace.